adding detail. She's kind of cool. A pad of paper, some markers, and a verbal cue from a professional. Um, if this had a title, what would it be? Art therapist Kalumai Krudani conducts these sessions in her home in Woodland okay, Hills. It. It's the practice of art therapy. I would name it Motions. And it's built a reputation in the U.S. in the mid-1960s. Art therapy is um, traditional talk therapy. It's the, you know, utilizes the same thing, but you use art as a tool within the therapy. If she had something to say, what would she say? Krudani is asking her newest participant, Kiera, to look at symbols in her art and put a name to what she sees. So, for some reason, I just feel like she's somewhere dancing. I don't know. I didn't expect too much. I just, I expected it to be different, you know, and for me to control my answers. Rather than talking about themselves, all of a sudden they're talking about the art and stuff magically comes out. I definitely felt myself talking to myself. And it tends to be a lot faster, too, than just talk therapy on its own. When I was like, oh my god, I'm talking too much. Like, I'm saying too much. <laughs> like, let me be quiet. Gradani says a person doesn't need to know how to draw to be able to engage in some of these exercises. So if you want to try this on your own, just think the way Crudani does. Start with some scribbles on a piece of paper, and then ask yourself, really, what do you see? In Sun Valley, I'm Aaron Lanuza.